All right, so I unboxed this CNC about three weeks ago. Um, I've played with it for about a week, so I, I've only really used it for the last seven to 10 days, working out its bugs, uh, working out what the situation with this machine is, and learning a, how to CNC. So it's been a great learning curve. What we learned yesterday is that this machine's spindle was out of whack for about five degrees. When I was doing a level of my waste board, it's throwing a lot of grooves up the length of the board, uh, which basically told me straight away that the spindle's out. It's leaning this way, so this side of the wide cutter bit was grooving instead of just flattening. Um, after pulling the spindle off, we found the location plate or backing plate, if you will, um, in relation to the machine was off by about five degrees, which was throwing the spindle, or the sorry, the, um, the leveling bit right out and cutting on one edge. So after pulling this all apart, I found that they painted this horrible thing white and they had actually installed the spindle while the paint was wet because the paint glued the spindle on there. And it was quite difficult to get off, but we got there. Um, I'm going to clean this up so it looks professional and not uh, rough and bodgy and careless. So <laughs> I expected to have teething issues, uh, minor fabrication issues because they're quality, you know, shine. Typically, these sort of manufacturers in China do have quality issues, lots of them. Um, so I expected it and I expected to pr improve upon their workmanship. Um, yeah, would I buy from this, these guys again? No, <laughs> no, avoid this company, avoid them. Um, however, look, this machine will be awesome. Um, just needs a little bit of Western ingenuity, if you will, <laughs> alrighty. So, um, so what we're doing to fix this problem is it, it did have these little uh, eight millimeter set screws in them with a Phillips, not a Phillips, uh, sorry, an Allen key head in them. So I've upgraded to 10 mil. These are going to hold a lot better. And what I'm going to do, I already have sort of, I already have drilled and tapped one hole. So I'm going to remount the spindle mounting plate on there, and then I'm going to level it up properly. Once I screw this on with the one, I'll level it up, make sure it's all spot on, and then I'll progress and drill and tap these new holes and then tap it in. The, the bolts that I'm using in replacement are much larger than the original, so I shouldn't have any too many issues with drilling out those old holes, re-tapping them into a 10 mil, and putting in the bigger set screws. And we should be happy days from there. So let's get into that. I'm also going to make this much nicer looking. I'm going to put it through my sander and give it a nice linish and get all that horrible paint job off of it. Terrible look. As you can see, I've got a plate square, which is running along my spoil board, which is relatively level, which is really level. It's just got a few funny grooves in it from the spindle being out. But as you can see, I've got this hard up against there. That's where it should be, nice and perfectly perpendicular with your bed. What it was, actually I can see, still see by eyesight that it is out a little bit to this frame, but I've got to do level to the bed. What it was, was out like that. To exaggerate, and you can see that there's a gap there and not at the top. And when you've got a bit like this, it tends to lean. So this edge is going to be scraping more than, or this side's not going to be touching at all, this edge will. This is where you get your grooves from, which I'll show in the spoil board very soon. All right, a lot of you are going to say, you shouldn't be tapping on the drill. It's the way I've done it for about 25 years now. I've never had an issue. Right, I reckon I'm there. Keep in mind we're going to aluminium. It's quite soft.
check we haven't moved. Rip some of that straw. Oh, that's lovely. Perfect. So we're over at my stroke sander and we're going to remove all of this terrible paint job that they did, um, I guess at the manufacturing factory. Um, so we're gonna get all this horrible white paint off with all the marks and the runs and the impression of the spindle on there. I'm gonna linish it and make it look nice and shiny again, give it a nice little clear coat. Um, just so it looks nicer on the machine. It looks like um, the machine was assembled by somebody who cared. That's me. <laughs> All right, so um, at least repaired by somebody who cared. All right, so I'll show you what the linishing press is. Really easy when you've got a, a stroke sander like this. Really good, really fun. Why am I doing this for a CNC? Because I like nice things. I don't know. All right, linishing, I'll show you. Yes, much nicer. We'll clean up the edges, give it a spray, should be good. All right, we're back. See how pretty it is now? All right, we're back to assembling the machine. So I've, um, I've, I've clear coated the aluminium that I've brushed, cut down the bolts by five mil because they were just bottoming a little bit because these are a bigger, heavier set screw than previously and I've also had to drill the holes down a little bit so it's put the screw through the back plate a little bit too much and it's sort of bottoming out so I've trimmed them up and it's ready to go. Let's, let's put it back together. There was no washers in the bot in the bottom of the uh, bottoms of these holes. So that's flat and so is the bottom of these holes. I have routed that out with an end mill. So we've got flat against flat. So I've put a big long one in there. I bought five screws and didn't cut one down. There we go. Bolts, screws, set screw, perhaps. All right. Oh, that's the other one. This one was my first one. This is the one that I've used to set it up, plumb it up. Nip that up. Grab my plate square. Sliding all the way back here. Good there. Pretty good. I don't know, you can't get better than that, I don't think. Alright, we're still beautiful. It's tight. Oh yeah. Alright, now that's properly tight. We are plumb, level, parallel, whatever you like. All right, <clears throat> so that is also very nice, very straight. So they actually, they did mount the spindle to the mounting plate quite well. They just didn't mount the plate to, they just didn't mount the motor, the plate to the motor bracket very well. So, it's to be expected, you buy shit from China. As you can see, the tramming was so far out that it's sort of like a, a mill high and a mill low. That's to exaggerate, because the spindle wasn't completely vertical, it was leaning. So it's digging in to that edge, 
and leaving this edge high, putting that low. So across all of those surfaces, you still get a level, a nice perfect level, but you get all these horrible grooves, which is no good if you're gonna be doing slab level. So now that we've fixed the tramming on the spindle, we should certainly get a flat result in both directions like that. And there's only one way to find out. Let's get going. Okay, I'm very happy to say the results are well within my expectations. It has leveled off nicely. It has taken that board down two millimeters. It's removed all the previous grooves from the out of balance um, spindle setup. So what they call tramming, I believe, is now really, really good. Um, that feels good underhand. It looks good. There's no deep grooves. It's taken out all those old grooves. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm more than acceptable now. I'm happy with the results. The lubrication system still doesn't work, but I have found out whilst the machine was apart, I did some line tracing and I found the reason why it's doing it. It's not a fault so much as it is poorly set up. Um, I do expect to have quite a few more issues with this machine, just purely the, the out of, you can just see they just fall a little short of completing things with quality. So that's gonna wind up letting the machine down here and there. But overall, and for the money value of this machine compared to what you can buy in Australia, um, it's still a really affordable base system where you're gonna expect issues, but be able to repair them and improve upon them with, I don't know, more of our Western level of ethics and completion. You know, like their quality is better. Um, it's, yeah, so anyway, I'm overall happy uh, and that was very successful. So next video, we'll see what comes on.